Hello, today I will discuss chapter 1 Relations and Functions, which is both UP board and CBSE board syllabus. That is chapter 1. First of all, to understand this relations and functions, first of all, we have to define order pair. An order pair is a entries whose components occur in a fixed order symbolically if a and b are two sets then by ordered pairs of elements means a pair a b such that a belonging in set a and b belonging in set b in the order here a is called first component and B is called second component in the order AB. Remember that if ordered pair AB is not equal to ordered pair of B unless A is equal to B. If ordered pair AB is equal to ordered pair CD implies that A is equal to C and B is equal to D. It means their first elements or same and also second elements or same now next definition that is we have to define Cartesian products of two sets if A and B are two non-empty sets then the set of all ordered pairs of elements AB where A belonging in capital A and B belong in capital B is called the Cartesian product of sets A and B denoted by A cross B and symbolically A cross B is equal to the set of the type order pair of AB where A is the element of set A and B is the element of set B. In a similar way if we find out uh, in a similar way if we wants to define B cross A means set B is uh, primary and set A is after that is the set of ordered pair B A where B belonging in capital B set B and A belonging in set A. For example suppose the set A consisting of elements 1, 2, 3 and set B consisting of the elements A and B then A cross B is defined as 1 comma A, 1 comma B, 2 comma A, 2 comma B, 3 comma A, 3 comma B. <coughs> and in a B cross A is defined as A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3. In general, Cartesian product A o, and B is not equal to B cross A. That is, A cross B is not equal to B cross A. Other example, if A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and B is equal to AB, then Cartesian product of A cross B, the set of elements 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B, 3A, 3B, 4A, 4B, and in a similar way B cross A, the set of elements A1, A2, A3, A4, B1, B2, B3, B4. Always remember that and uh, it is clear from these discussions, uh, if number of elements of set A is equal to P and the number of elements of set B is equal to Q, then the number of elements of Cartesian products of A and B is equal to PQ. Uh, for example, if the set A has uh, three elements and set B has two elements, then the number of elements in Cartesian products will be six. Some rememberable points. If A cross B is equal to B cross A implies that A is equal to B. It means the both sets will be equal. And uh, Cartesian products of A and B is equal to five implies and implied that either A is 5 means non-empty 
uh, sorry empty set or b is empty set and if a is not empty set and b is also not empty set which implies and implied that their cartesian product is also not empty set <coughs> if either a is infinite or b is infinite then their cartesian product is also infinite and now we define next heading relations let a and b are two non empty sets then a subset of cartesian product of a and b is called a relation r from a to b that is r is subset of b thus r is a relation from a to b implies and implied that r is subset of a cross b for example if a is equal to 1 to 3 and b is equal to 7 9 then their cartesian product is 1 7 2 7 3 7 One nine, two nine, and three nine, and then uh, any relation from that Cartesian product is taken as, for example, R is equal to one seven, two seven, one nine, and three nine. Here clearly R is a relation from A to B because it is subset of R cross B.